Hi everyone, it is Patrice from Teresa's Crafty Life. I wanted to share a entry to Lena's giveaway challenge on her YouTube channel. I'll leave her information down below. Raina at Yolo Crafts had a really fun crafty challenge to send her an ATC card and with two embellishments. So I went ahead and made her some extra things. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will provide details on how I made everything. Here is the ATC card that I made. As I was going through my crafty stash, I realized that I didn't really have very many crafty items to make bee theme projects. And as I'm watching uh, Rena's channel, I realized that she really likes bees, so I wanted to make something very specific for her challenge. For the base of the ATC card, I used rosy studio paper that I found. And so it has like a mustard yellow and white stripes. And then in that same paper pad, it actually had the bee theme pattern. So let me share the name of that paper pad. The designer paper came from Rosie Studio Mimosa Sunday paper pad. And what I did in the background is I layered this trim and the trim is from Emily shop. And then I used a bee theme metal die set and I cut it out in black. And that is from Carrie. She is Carrie's Corner Store on Instagram. So I'll leave a link to that down below. And that's where a lot of the cabochons came from. And even this um, bee house die is also from her shop too. So go ahead and check her out. And then what I did is I put the phrase be happy in brown iridescent letters. And I made this cute little bee pop out of the house. I thought it was like a cute addition. And then bees here on the side and these three flowers. So this um, bee set came from um, Carrie's Corner store in her last sale. And I wanna quickly share the dies. So here is the die here for the background. And I used this, I guess it's like a bee house right here. Um, and I cut it out in brown. In this same set, it also came with these two metal dies too, which are super cute, but I didn't use on the ATC card. And then here's an extra one that I bought where I can actually layer the bee's um, wings, which I think would be really pretty if you do like black and white or gold and black or just any color combination, even pink. Next, I'm sharing this embellishment that I made. It's like a letterboard embellishment. And with my thickers, I spelled out be kind, be you. And I also used that same metal die to cut out a little piece here in the center to break up the gold um, corrugated cardstock. And I'll leave a link to a tutorial on how to make this down below. I added this B cabochon, which is so cute. And then I added this black and gold flower. This is from Cuddle Me Clay. And then I added this dangle here on the side. So this um, charm says Queen Bee, which is adorable. And I added on like this black, um, I don't know what this is called, like safety pin that's kind of unique looking, like a bulb. I don't know the formal word for it. Um, and then I made this quick dangle and then I added this charm here too. And all of these charms are from Carrie's Corner Store. And I really like how this letter board came out with using minimal like bee supplies that I have, bee theme supplies that I have. And so I thought that everything looked cohesive and I hope that she really likes my entry. So let me keep going. So I thought to make this embellishment using a sequence mix from Carrie's store. And so what I did is I added some hot glue at the top and this is actually a sequence mix from her store. And what I did is I dipped it in some hot glue and then I also like drizzled some hot glue here too, just to make it look like more realistic. And then what I did is I used some ribbon that was in the packaging and I tied it here in the center and added this gold bow. And it's an embellishment for her to keep. I made this shaker tag using a Lawn Fawn die set. 
And this is also another sequence mix available in Carrie's Corner Store. And I just love the way that this turned out. I had this cabochon also in my stash. And then I added this phrase, see the world. And I added even the negatives of the die. So this die set right here, I added the negatives and it looks like, like honeycombs inside this shaker. So the last thing that I wanted to share is some of the sequence mix. This was a sequence mix made by Carrie. And so I put it into this suitcase and added this band. And I, what I did to make this band is I just cut out some paper that is three fourths inches wide. And I don't know the length. I just um, eyeballed it using this suitcase and it wasn't double sided. So I went ahead and glued it together twice, added this sunflower cabadon and then this is what the sequence mix looks like. It's so adorable. So many cute bits and bobs inside there. And when she is ready to make a bee theme embellishment, she has this to use. This was a very fun challenge entry for me to make. I had a lot, a lot of fun making it. Rena, I hope that you enjoy everything that I made. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.